frogs have been around for over 300 million years. They come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. They live on the ground, in the water, and in the air. But as diverse as they are, they all share one trait. They are disappearing at an alarming rate. So fast, in fact, that one-third to one-half of the world's 6,000 known frog species could go extinct within our lifetime. This would be the single largest mass extinction since the dinosaurs. Amphibians are our modern-day canaries in the coal mine. Just as the miners would take these sensitive birds with them into the mines and they would know that if the birds died, it was time for them to get out, well, amphibians are raising and waving red flags to us, saying there is a serious problem. You need to change your behavior or you're going to suffer the same consequences. In the last century, frogs have been increasingly affected by habitat loss, climate change, pollution, and pesticides. And while these issues present a major threat, the most immediate threat to frogs and amphibians is a parasitic fungus called the amphibian chytrid. Spread from Africa over the last century, the fungus inhibits the frogs' use of their pores, causing them to die of dehydration and quickly decimating frog populations within months of its introduction. In response to this problem, scientists and conservationists worldwide agreed to an amphibian conservation action plan. This plan's primary purpose is to protect amphibian species in their natural habitat. For those species that cannot be saved in nature, the plan calls for them to be protected in captive facilities until their threats in the wild can be controlled. For over 20 years, the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium has supported the efforts of researchers both internationally and right here at home. Becky Rose is a conservation coordinator at the Columbus Zoo. The Columbus Zoo and Aquarium supports conservation projects for threatened and endangered species all over the world, and amphibians are no exception. When it became apparent in the late 1980s and early 1990s that amphibians were in sharp declines around the world, the Columbus Zoo became a supporting member of an organization called the Declining Amphibians Populations Task Force. The zoo has also been a longtime supporter of a project based in Panama called Project Golden Frog, and this work is focused on an endangered species called the Panamanian Golden Frog. The zoo is a long-term supporter of that project and we also hold golden frogs here at the Columbus Zoo. In addition to providing grants for important field work around the world, the Columbus Zoo is also able to provide financial support to the Amphibian Ark and all the great work they're doing for the Year of the Frog campaign. You can learn more about the Amphibian Ark at amphibianark.org and I urge you to take a look at that website and find a lot of ways that you can help amphibians in the wild. The song of the frog has echoed for millions of years, but unless we act now, their chorus may be forever silenced. How lucky are we to live in a time where there are 6,000 species like this? I can't imagine not having a world so rich or passing a world so deprived of amphibian species on to future generations. Everybody knows frogs, everybody loves frogs, but I don't think people are really aware of what's happening in the wild with amphibian populations and how important it is for the survival of humans that these animals also survive right along with us.